it's, it's, it's among us, like people try to not say that the passing game has been bad, but it seems like y'all have kind of been out of rhythm over the last couple of weeks. Do you agree with that? And what do you think is the biggest key to kind of being more in sync if you are? A couple mis misconnections, miscommunications, small things. I mean, we kind of getting a rhythm. We got to get our rhythm back. I feel I do agree on that, but uh, I mean, we're not gonna put up 400 yards passing every game. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, that's just not gonna happen in the NFL. Like it, it doesn't happen. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get back to the drawing board, doing what we do, and uh, hopefully the results will be a lot better. How does the, how do you get the rhythm back? What do you do to find the consecutive work throughout practice, trust, and uh, it'll showcase itself on Sundays. People don't see what happens up here. Can it happen up here? That's where it happens. Right. This is exactly where it happens. Uh, pretty much everything, good, the bad. You know, the practice field is kind of where you get all the small things out. And uh, in a game, obviously, you don't want everything to go bad. Uh, everything for sure doesn't go good all the time. So, I mean, it's the ups and downs of the football game, and that's why we love playing it. I think this is maybe the 16th game you and Dak have played together. Uh, building that trust factor between each other. I feel like he trusted me uh, as soon as I came in as a rookie, and I trusted him when I was a rookie. So uh, just building that that foundation early and kind of getting tick for tack with each other, understanding what he does well and what I don't do well, uh, kind of working on it. I mean, I, I wish I could really just pinpoint what it is, but I can't. Uh, the rhythm is, is, is there. It's getting there. Do you see the game the same way? Yes, most definitely. And in, in what ways like, does that happen? I mean, the things the coaches uh, draw it up the way they draw it up, perfect it, execute it, and uh, something is kind of like scramble drill and got to make a play. Well, then that fourth down play, is that one of those ones? I assume that was an improvisation. Yeah, that was really on me. I messed that up. I messed the whole play up, truly and honestly. But, uh, I mean, hey, it almost worked. <laughs> Were you too shallow? Uh, nah, 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 nah. It was just, it was a bad route. I, I messed up on the route. Misheard him. Do you feel you can build a rapport with any quarterback? And, and that being said, are there some guys you just connect with? And is there any way to explain that other than just... It's a chemistry you're kind of spark. Say that again. Do you feel you can build a rapport with any quarterback you play with? Or, or have you and that kind of sparked in a way or just kind of like, you know, meshed? What I feel like I feel like that kind of sparked early. Uh, like I said, the last year having in my first five games, it was fun. And then obviously after that, we lost them. And then year two came out hot again. Uh, he, he missed a week, and then I missed a week after. Obviously, the connection's not going to be the same, so just kind of getting that back. And, uh, you know, just getting back to the drawing board, man. That's all it is. CD, probably you already answered this, but when y'all know that Sneak is hurt and the running game is struggling, how much more do you want to step up with the passing game? And how aware are you? Very aware. Uh, just understanding what's at stake. You know, uh, obviously, Zeke is out there. He's, he's playing through some problems, but... I mean, that doesn't really stop him. Obviously, you can see he's out there still punishing guys on third downs, getting the first, and uh, just playing bruiser football and having him and TP, that mesh, that mesh is, is, is phenomenal. Uh, take a load off us. And then, obviously, when the receivers are called upon, got to make a play. Big stretch of division games this month. How do you view that? Clutch. Uh, it's December football. Uh, this is what it all comes down to, division games. And... Uh, I'm excited, man. I'm very excited. You talk a lot about you and Dak, obviously, but how much does it help you as a receiver to have practice reps with Amari and Mike since y'all haven't really spent a lot of time together? Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Uh, those guys are, are great. I love playing alongside of them. And uh, all three of us, I feel like, are interchangeable. We could play just about any position on the field. So I'm comfortable with those guys, and uh, I can definitely rely on them, and I, I know for sure they can rely on me. What stands out to you about those two games with Washington last year? When you look at tape of those or think back on them, what, what are your thoughts? Uh, obviously, the outcome of the game, we lost. But uh, just, just I haven't really reflected much on it. 
kind of left everything last year in the past. So uh, just ultimately trying to turn the page and uh, come out with a new aggressiveness this year. Was this a few of those come out before win? Is this a harder build to watch this past game? Or do you feel like you left a lot more yards on the field maybe than you? I feel like that's every week. Uh, we're never satisfied. Obviously, we didn't put a great game together last week, but uh, it's a it's a it's a great a great foundation, I guess. A uh, new start uh, came out with a win, and that's ultimately all it's about. That's it. Thank you.